Um, now, as you've probably seen, I haven't uploaded any football videos. That's because I actually got stopped. Welcome back to another video. So today, it's a bit more of a serious video today. We're going to be talking about the big pandemic at the moment. COVID-19 or coronavirus. So, basically we're just going to have like a little chat about it and what you need to do. Uh, everyone already knows anyway, but just a quick reminder what's going on in the world. And yeah, let's go. So, as you already know, you've heard it from Boris Johnson, you've heard it from Matt Hancock, you've heard it from pretty much everyone. Please stay at home. Protect the NHS. Like, the NHS are doing so much for us. Like, every Thursday, uh, people, people seem to be going out and, and um, clapping their hands for a minute, you know, just to um, just to say thank you for the NHS. That's one thing. That's a good thing which you should do. But another thing, the biggest thing, stay at home. Only go out. I mean, apparently they're discussing at the moment to not even let people do exercise and to only go out for, like, food and that. Only go out if it's like literally necessary. I've been out once in the past week, which was for a walk. That was it. Um, now, as you've probably seen, I haven't uploaded any football videos. That's because I actually got stopped. I got stopped. In my opinion, it wasn't the right. I, I wasn't doing the wrong thing. Like apparently, there was loads of complaints who were very similar to mine, who people were just going out and playing football, and they got stopped. But I was on. Or I was also on my own, and I got stopped for this. When technically that that was my exercise of the day, so you know it's sort of like I was annoyed at the time, but you know I've got over it now. But like I said, I've only been out once in the past week. So message to everyone: stay at home, stay at home, protect the NHS, protect everyone else. The next thing that I want to come on to is football. Now, it's obviously going to be something to do with football in a video, but I wanted to start talking about what's going to happen with the season. Now, in my opinion, yes, being a Leeds fan, yes, being top of the league, you want to go up. I personally think that they should get the season finished, you know, but play it behind closed doors, maybe. Because I can't see this, I can't see the coronavirus completely stop and the country to be like opened again in when's it it's meant to be coming back on the thirtieth of April, that's in that's only in three or four weeks time. Can't see it happening then. I can see it going on for about well, I don't know, about another month or two. around my birthday, around the end of May. Personally I think they should just play it behind closed doors when it starts to get a bit better. You know, I think the peak will come in about two weeks or something like that. When it starts to go down a bit more, play it then. And I think that should be the same for every league. Like I've heard about Belgium league, um, the pro league, um, obviously, and and the Dutch league. Apparently, they just they might they might just give it. The pro league apparently have just given the league to Club Brugge. That I don't know if that's true or not, but it's what I read. Personally, I think it should just be the same for everyone. Play it behind closed doors. And even non-league, I mean, non-league cancelled, just completely stopped. Now, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. There were so many complaints. There was over 70 complaints I heard um, about non-league teams wanting to, you know, complete the season. But, yeah, in my opinion, complete the season, behind closed doors or not, it has to be finished. The third thing that I would like to come on to is footballers' wages. Now... Yeah, again, this is coming from a Leeds fan now. Leeds, the players decided to take a full wage cut and not get paid at all until this is completely finished. Which I think is a really good thing, and I think all other teams should realise that. Now, I was reading it, I was reading the other day, there was about over half of the Premier League teams haven't actually done anything, and they were waiting until the meeting on Friday about what to, you know, decide about the wage cut. Now, they only said 30%. Now, I worked that out. Uh, I think... I worked it out with um, one of the most expensive players, Paul Pogba, who currently, I think I read, earns £290,000 a week. Now, if he's only taking a 30% wage cut, that's only going down to just over two hundred grand. Two hundred grand is still a lot of money. Personally, I think it should be the same for everyone, full wage cut until this is finished, just to help the NHS and help everyone else around. 
Now that is the end of the video. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on that bell so you know every time that I upload. At the moment, it's going to be twice a week, you know, because it's, uh, it's te technically the holidays, even though I'm still at home, still been doing work. It's technically the holidays, so this will be uploaded on Wednesday, and there'll be obviously a video on Saturday, 6 p.m. Make sure you tune in every Wednesday at the moment and every Saturday. Yeah, hopefully this, hopefully the coronavirus gets better, we get to the peak, it falls down, we have a great summer, that's all I want, season to finish. Yeah, stay at home, last thing, stay at home, protect the NHS, protect everyone else, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.